Hello, Dr. Yerby here. In this video, we're going to be installing Kane. So first, you need to navigate to the Kane website, install the latest version. Right now, the latest version is Infinity Kane 10.0. So what you would want to do is go to the Kane Live, and then we want to download the operating system. So you can go to Downloads and it'll tell you to always be sure to check the MD5 to make sure that you're getting the the real deal right so you click this download the ISO file it would download and it will look like this file is 3.55 gigs so let's go ahead and get started what we're going to do in this video is we're going to run this in VMware I'm going to create a new virtual machine I'll go custom uh, so I'll say use this version uh, installer and so it's already selected my Kane 10 ISO so what I would just do instead of burning the ISO to a disk I'll just use the ISO file uh, it's not able to detect but what we'll do is we'll tell it to use an Linux Ubuntu 64-bit uh, as the basis here okay I uh, will give it a name so we'll call this one Kane and this is again this is another uh, Linux distro uh, that contains several forensics tools. So let me move this location real quick. I'd rather save this on an external drive where I have more machine or more space. It's a little slower, but I have the space here. Okay. Number of processors. So I'm going to give this probably a little bit more because I just want it to move quickly to at least begin with. I might back this down a little bit later. Um, but we'll see how that did. All right, we'll take NAT. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Create a new virtual disk. Yes. Um, I'll do it as a. S well, we'll go ahead and let, do multiple files. Uh, it, I attempted this earlier and it gave me a little bit of trouble. Uh, we'll up the size a little bit right now, and we'll we will not allocate the disk space now. Uh, because we don't want to take up the full 40 gigs if we don't have to. Right. Okay, and we'll call it that. Let me see where this is being stored. Uh, don't like that. So let's move it back over here uh, to this virtual machines. Move it into this folder. And we'll save it here. Okay, and let's see. It, so it didn't do my memory correctly. Let's go ahead and see if we can fix that. There we go. See the slider moving now. So I'm going to over allocate uh, RAM at this point because I want the the install to move along. The only downside is I'm recording this video and so we'll see how my host machine handles uh, allocating so much of my RAM to this. All right, so we'll do that. It'll show up in my library over here. Okay, so 14 gigs of RAM, 40 gig hard drive, four processors. Go ahead and power it on, and let's see. It should hopefully boot into a menu where it allows us to select. Um, yeah, here we are. Start Kane Live. All right, so you use a keyboard at this point. So we'll go ahead and do this. And again, this is running off of a virtual CD, so it's going to be a little bit slower uh, than if this were running straight off of a hard drive. And again, this is uh, in a virtual machine, so we'll take just a second for this to load up. You might get some errors, um, but just wait. Just give it a minute and see what happens. Alright, and this is the boot screen for Arcane Infinity. Okay, so now we are booted into the live CD. We have not installed Kane yet. So if I turn this virtual machine off, then it's going to go back to the, the same state it was before. So we're essentially running this from a disk. To install, we need to go through the install procedure. Before we do that, we need to make sure that our disk is writable. So by default, it should make our disk only read only. So let's look at this. I, um, this application here unblock and see if our disk is read-only or if it is writable. Now, so we see that 40 gig disk that we created 
it's the only drive connected and so what I can do is I can just select you know just check the checkbox and I can't see all the screen the easiest way to do at this point is just to hit the enter key and you see now it's writable so I'm going to close this we might get a little error and we can see if we can ignore that error or um, we'll see what happens yep so I'm not sure what that error is but I expected that one <laughs> Alright, now we're going to go through the install process. Okay, and again, the keyboard is your friend, so if it's on what you need it to be selected, you can use the mouse to move move this around, but when you want to actually select something, uh, just hit the enter key is easier. So I'll move through these next choices a little quickly. So this is an issue. Um, we're going to I'm going to first try to continue to install it here. I don't think it's going to work. Uh, yeah, it looks like it's not working. Uh, so what I'm going to end up doing is continue without the bootloader. And so I will need to manually install the bootloader in order to start the machine. So let's go ahead and proceed that way. So our install completed, but our bootloader didn't fix. So we need to repair it. First, I'm going to try this. I'm going to continue testing. I'm going to open a terminal. And I'm going to type, I'm going to this sudo add apt repository ppa yana ubuntu slash boot repair sudo apt get update so I'll, I'll post that in the uh, comment section below but what this is doing is adding in a another repository with, that I can pull the boot repair application from so I'll go ahead and press enter here and press enter to continue go ahead and hit enter alright so we'll add this repository it looks like that's mostly successful alright so next I need to install the boot repair uh, program so I'm going to type in sudo apt git install boot repair and boot repair okay so this will add this package in and the software will start up automatically I'm going to go ahead and take the default option here what we're doing now is it's reinstalling grub or grub2 that failed during our install of cane all right, and now it's asking me do we want to see a report and so it just uploads it to this URL I can copy this URL and go paste it into a browser I can do this from this machine or another machine I'll go ahead and open a Firefox browser paste in my URL and it gives me a summary of what happened Let's see. one okay it can tell us that it is Kane uh, shut it down All right. so our infinity is going to the beyond keep making that lame joke I am a dad sorry okay so while that shuts down you see I get this ad message that says please remove the installation medium press enter so that refers to going over here to settings and then go to my CD USB and I can either tell it to not connect or I can tell it to use the physical whatever I can just do something so I'm going to tell it to use the physical and so it's not going to be pointed at that ISO anymore so now when it tries to start let's see if I can just hit enter okay so I believe I've repaired the bootloader and I've had to shut down the machine and let's try to power it back on and let's see if this has worked um, let's 
Let's try this. So we had to install the bootloader, so that's what this is. Now let's see if we get a cane operating system or if we get something else or if we get nothing. See a message that said welcome to cane. So it looks like it's starting and it's starting all the different services in cane. Hey, and look, just like that. Now, if I remember my password, I believe it's Yerby. So you notice that's different than when we initially started with the live CD uh, because it actually asked me for the information that we entered when we installed. So all that process of loading that first bootloader, that should not happen the next time that I started. It was uh, a good bit of that was for the initial load. Uh, at this point, I can begin installing drivers and using my cane uh, machine. So, thanks.